an opportunity to show how good you are. You have more talent, we expect more from you. Their level of ability or their previous performance is irrelevant. There's just somebody out there in an opposite color jersey that you're going to beat. Assignment technique. Every game's an opportunity. Special teams, you got an opportunity to have some great play. And most of all, to get us the field position that gives us the control that's so important here. Anything to add on the punt game, Coach? Punt return. We got two returns in. Plus blue tent. Plus blue tent. Sure, when you get off the field, uh, you've got to get anything corrected that we can get it done before we go out there again. Both of those look like a chance to get us a great play. Definitely get us field position. Kickoff. They had some success against us last year. That's going to give them some confidence. Anything on kickoff, Coach? No, oh, just stay in your lanes and, and cover hard. And put the right down to them. That's the secret. <laughs> kickoff return, hand scheme. The only thing on kickoff return is, is make sure Jerry and my four people back that we move up because of the fact that that kicker is only going to kick it anywhere from the 10 to the 15 yard line. Who's going to check that for us in pregame? Yeah. Yeah? Yep. Okay. Jerry, make sure you talk to. to uh, uh, nap on that over there. Ronnie, yep. make sure you know exactly where he's kicking it in the pregame. <coughs> this way, Coach Nap will give that to you. You'll go next point. Should be in good shape here, Coach. Coach Buck. <coughs> I'm not going to talk to you a long time here, but uh, I think we all realize what the situation is. <laughs> We've said it all week. And, and, and my feeling is when I was a player, you don't fool a player. <clears throat> There's no reason in here trying to stand up and rant and rave and tell you how hard this game is going to be or how good Northwoods is. Can't do that. You beat this football team last year <laughs> 60 to 7. <coughs> They're relatively a young football team. I don't know. I didn't look at their defense. Or I should say their offense that hard. But I know on defense, they're relatively young. In the secondary, it's probably their best personnel as far as experience is concerned. How good they are back there, I don't know. We feel offensively they'll give us some things that we can do. We don't think that they're going to have a pile of coverage, and they're not, they're, not, they're not the type of kids that we got in our secondary. So Northwoods is an average football team. So if you look at it in a very academic way, you look at it the right way, you look at it in an intelligent way, you say to yourself, all right, now, what do we do to beat Northwoods? What do we do to dominate Northwoods? <coughs> well, it's fairly simple. You not only play together that we've been talking about for, particularly since after our North Dakota State game, we not only play hard, you not only play with enthusiasm, but you play to your level. Not their level. And I've been in these games, fellas, as a player, all our coaching staff has. When I used to coach against Northwestern, we knew we could beat Northwestern because they've always been the doormat of the Big Ten. They've always struggled. So we didn't try to fool ourselves as coaches, and we didn't try to fool ourselves as players. So number one is not, hey, let's not play to their level. Hey, let's play to our level. All right, what does it take to play to our level? 
Play to our ability. Play with damn good execution and damn good performance. That's all we're saying. Now, you have an opportunity this afternoon. Every game has a goal or an objective towards it. Number one is to win the game. And win this game soundly. And play with emotion and play with enthusiasm. And at the same time, say to yourself right now, it's not, an, it's not only a non-conference game, but yet at the same time, this game means a hell of a lot to us in the standards. And I'm talking about national ranking. They gave you a compliment, as well as our staff, this week. That compliment was this. We got in the first 20, as you all know. And like I told our offensive group yesterday, when we met yesterday morning. We're ranked 20. We're on the fringe. We're coming back. We're 3-0. We won three in a row. That shows the strength and potential of our team. We got to get in the first 16 to get in the playoffs. Now, something that was unusual about those rankings yesterday is we were the only football team that was 3 and 2. The only club. That means that they respect us. And I think that says a hell of a lot about you guys and the potential of our ball club. Now, what do we do to fortify that type of reckoning right there? What do we do? Do we go out there this afternoon and play half-ass? Do we go out there this afternoon and play without emotion? Do we go out there this afternoon and just try to get by? Or do we play collectively like hell? And play hard for the goal of bringing our football team now in the first 16? <coughs> Because I assume one of our objectives from last winter was not only to win the Great Lakes Conference, but to place ourselves, like I told you last week, in the national rankings, get ourselves in the playoff, and now have a chance to win the national championship. And any any different than the guy in the street says, shit, I ain't going to buy a lottery ticket because I'm never going to win. Well, how in the hell are you ever going to win, win a million dollars if you don't buy the ticket and get a number? Well, I'm going to say this to you right now. You're not going to win a national championship either if you don't give yourself a chance to get where? In the playoffs. And they get in the playoffs, we're talking 16 teams. And this is one of the games. It's a non-conference game, game, but this is one of the games, fellas, that gives us a chance now to what? Get our standings higher. <clears throat> and I think that means a hell of a lot to our football team. That should mean a tremendous amount to everybody in this room. And I'm not, I'm not garbage you now. I'm telling you the facts. This is what you're playing for this afternoon, is national recognition. That ain't too bad. That's not too shabby now to play for national what? Recognition. And they've given you a chance. You're 20th in the country with a 3-2 record. The only one on that list with 3-2. and two. And when we get done this afternoon, we're going to be 4-2. But you don't want to go out and just get by on this football team. You want to go out and dominate this team, and pound this team, perform on this team, execute on this team, 
and beat them soundly. I can't tell you what the score is. It's in our hands. But that's where we're at. I think the other objective, if I was playing, would be this. How good can I play this afternoon as far as my own personal performance? And what these coaches have been telling you all week. Because I can say this, and I said this from the time that I've been a player. Because I used to resent all this bullshit that goes on a helmet. I used to resent the 5,000 uh, 5, awards that came to the guy that was a star and the support cast got nothing. Yeah, I know, because I was in the pits too. And I always felt this, and I learned this from Biggie Mudd, my coach. The greatest thing that every one of us can do is your accomplishment as a player. What is your accomplishment as a player, everyone here? That you're great. If I came on Sunday, the first thing I want to know, how effective of a player am I? Did I get my grade according to what my coach sets down in his standards of grading? If I'm a quarterback, do I just throw the ball? Do I hand out properly? Do I carry out my fakes? If I'm a defensive back, do I backpedal right? Do I assume the right cushion? Do I stay in my zone? When I play jump coverage or man, do I have the right relationship on a vertical and a lateral kind of what? Position? If I'm a linebacker and I've got intermediate kind of drops, am I dropping to the proper place that the guy teaches you? Or am I just hanging my goddamn hat somewhere, letting those zones open and not helping my secondary? Or if I'm a rusher, am I giving my coverage people a chance? Now that's what it's all about. And I think this, in our, in, in, in our performance level, we talk about 75% or better. And that should be just run block. Pass block should be 85% or better up front. Now, if I score an ant, and I list my team up here now as an offensive team, and I go for tight end, and I got 75, 78, 76, 82, 85, hey, 75, shit, I got a pile of winners up front. Now we're talking about all being on the same cylinders. But if I got a minus, a plus, minus, minus, a plus, and a minus, no. And I think it's time for every one, of us to, every one of us to realize this and understand it. Listen, let me say something to you. The greatest thing that a person can enjoy and do is your own personal response. That's one of the greatest strengths of an individual characteristic is how in the hell do I respond to a situation? Do I respond to the situation in a positive way, in an enthusiastic way, in a way that I can play to my level, or do I just go ahead and shit right square in my dinner bucket and become a very negative person? And I've said this to you guys before, and I believe in this in coaching, fellas, and I believe in it stronger every year I'm in it. This is what we're talking about in being a good guy. This is what we're talking about in being a better person. And that's demonstrated out in the football field, in the game of sport. But it's a personal response on your part. Now, you have a situation today that's a response situation to you. You understand what I'm talking about, Greg? I'm not trying to fool anybody about this club being better than we are. We know that this club is not better than we are, just repeating myself. What I'm saying is an individualistic what? Response on your part, as well as you have a goal this afternoon. How in the hell do you beat this team now to get yourself further up in national recognition? That's what I want to know. And I think that's what's, what it's all about. I sure as hell want to get up there. Your staff wants to get up there. Now, where is everybody in this room? That's what we're talking about. 
And if you play good, you play hard, and you're interested, Jason, or Sandono, or Maddox, and all these guys in here, Osterman, if you're interested in playing good, and playing the best to your ability, and to your level, and get your grade, Johnson, hey, and, and, and Aaron, and every guy down here, I'll guarantee you now that you'll put it together, and you'll have yourself a fine football game. In you understand me now? And I want to see some enthusiasm. Don't sell yourself as a flat tire. Keep yourself enthusiastic. Keep the emotion. And after this football team, beat them soundly so you can continue to be recognized the way you are recognized right now. 20th in the country, let's get our ass now up on those slots, okay? All right, let's have a good one. Turn your keys into Kyle and Naps. I dropped mine off at the bus. Or the dash, or the dash. Bosses are out back here in the uh, parking lot. Let's get ready to roll. You got mine? Yeah. Before the game, let's see if we, if we can work it. Are you kidding? Come on, get mine. Yeah, I did. Are you kidding, though? <laughs> <laughs> we don't uh, have anybody else right now. I can do it. And if you can get. Hey Rick, Pop, come back over here after a while and help uh, Mangini get that film stuff set up. Yeah. 